Number one, you're paralyzed on purpose. You know that moment when you're dreaming of skydiving naked into a bowl of spaghetti, and suddenly, bam, you're awake but can't move a single muscle. Welcome to sleep paralysis, the brain's twisted little feature that's both terrifying and completely intentional. Here's the scoop. Every night during REM sleep, your brain basically hits the emergency break on your entire body. It intentionally paralyzes your muscles so you don't act out your dreams and karate chop your partner mid-slumber. How considerate. But sometimes your brain botches the timing. You wake up, but the paralysis is still going. So now you're lying there wide-eyed and frozen like a meat popsicle in a haunted house. And to make it worse, your half-dreaming brain might also toss in some visual horror effects, shadowy figures, creepy voices, or something sitting on your chest like it paid rent. This is all thanks to your brain blending dream logic with waking awareness. It's like crossing Netflix horror with a biology class gone wrong. The result? An unforgettable 30 seconds of absolute panic and questioning your life choices. But hey, at least your muscles aren't flailing while you're dreaming about fighting off a bear with a baguette, right? Silver linings. Number two, you forget literally everything you'd think that after spending the night living out your weirdest fantasies flying over a neon city, chatting with your third grade math teacher who is now inexplicably a walrus, you'd remember something. But no, most mornings your dreams disappear faster than your will to go to work. This is because your brain, the very organ that created these full-blown cinematic experiences, also decides to delete them like they were a browser history you didn't want anyone seeing. The culprit, the hippocampus, your brain's memory librarian. During REM sleep, it takes a little break from filing memories into long-term storage. So dreams just float around in short-term space and vanish the moment you wake up, unless something really weird or emotional yanks them into consciousness. Why does your brain do this? Scientists aren't 100% sure, but one theory is that it's prioritizing emotional processing over memory saving. It's like your brain is saying, let's work through your childhood abandonment issues, but let's not remember the part where your teeth turned into jelly beans. Basically, your brain spends all night making weird art films, then throws them in the trash before anyone can see the credits. Number three, you time travel without knowing have you ever woken up thinking it's a completely different day or that you're still in your childhood bedroom or worse, back in high school mid-exam wearing a bathrobe. That's not a glitch in the matrix. That's your brain's terrible relationship with time. During sleep, especially in dreams, your brain is totally unmoored from linear time. It just doesn't care. What should be a 10-second interaction might stretch into an entire dream saga, complete with plot twists, character arcs, and a sudden subplot about alien taxes. This happens because your prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain responsible for logic, reasoning, and accurate timekeeping, goes on vacation during REM sleep. With no one in charge of the calendar, your dreams start binge-editing memories, feelings, and made-up nonsense into a poorly organized slideshow of what if, when you wake up, your disoriented brain sometimes takes a minute or ten to remember what year it is, where your job is, and why there's a cat staring at you like you owe it rent. So yeah, every night you basically get a free ticket to a nonsensical, time-warping alternate reality. It's like traveling the multiverse, only you're in pajamas and drooling slightly. Number four, you audition for fake scenarios ever woken up mid-dream and realized you were just rehearsing a fight you'll never have. Maybe it's you finally telling off your boss with a perfectly crafted monologue, or confessing your love to someone from 2009 who now runs a crystal shop in Bali. Either way, your brain just wrote, directed, and starred in a drama that exists solely inside your skull. This is called threat simulation theory, and it's one of the fun little theories about why we dream. Your brain basically runs through worst-case scenarios while you're asleep like it's training for a mental apocalypse and not just dramatic arguments or scary stuff. Sometimes it's deeply mundane rehearsal. Reliving a conversation, practicing how you should have answered that one email, or imagining how you'll react when the barista finally spells your name right. Your dreaming brain loves to run these simulations because it helps you emotionally prepare for possible futures, even if those futures involve zombies, your ex, or being naked at a work presentation. Again, so when you wake up feeling like you've just run a mental soap opera marathon, it's because you have. Congrats, you're your own anxiety-fueled screenwriter. Number five, your brain fakes sound affects your falling asleep. Everything's quiet. Then suddenly bang, a loud crash, a door slam, maybe even someone shouting your name. You jolt awake, heart racing, ready to call the Ghostbusters or maybe your mom. But guess what? Nothing happened. 
Welcome to Exploding Head Syndrome, the most dramatic sounding harmless sleep quirk ever. Despite the name, your head is not actually exploding. What's really happening is that your brain, in its infinite wisdom, sometimes glitches during the transition between wakefulness and sleep and fires off a phantom sound. These auditory hallucinations can range from door slams to gunshots to, for some people, electric zaps or music. Yes, your brain is out here DJing creepy sound effects with zero consent. Why? Scientists think it's related to neurons misfiring in your auditory cortex as your brain powers down for sleep. It's like your internal sound system decides to play one last jump scare before clocking out, just for fun. And the best part, it's not dangerous, just mildly terrifying, like a haunted house where the only ghost is your nervous system being extra for no reason. So if you've ever sat bolt upright in bed because you swore you heard a door slam, congrats, your brain pranked you. Again. Number six, you dream with zero logic one minute you're riding a llama through IKEA. The next, you're underwater having lunch with Abraham Lincoln and a sentient toaster. And none of this strikes you as weird until you wake up and go, what the actual fever dream was that? This is because during REM sleep, your prefrontal cortex, the logic, reasoning, hey, this doesn't make sense part of your brain takes a nap. Literally, it powers down, leaving the emotional and creative parts in charge of the party. The result, dreams with zero rules, people morph into other people, gravity takes lunch breaks. Time jumps around like it's editing a Christopher Nolan film, and you just roll with it like, ah yes, of course I'm at my old school being chased by a bear made of lasagna. Your brain knows how the world works but it's too busy playing abstract improv theater. This dream chaos actually serves a purpose, it helps process emotional memories and strengthen neural connections. But while that's happening, you're stuck in a surreal fever swamp of plot holes and questionable cameos. Basically, your brain turns into a midnight dolly painting and just goes for it. And you, you're along for the ride, wearing Crocs and speaking fluent banana. Number seven, you think you slept when you didn't ever wake up and feel like you've been asleep for eight hours, only to realize it's been 20 minutes. Or worse, wake up groggy, disoriented, and convinced you didn't sleep at all, even though the clock says otherwise. Your brain, once again, is gaslighting you. This little brain lie is part of something called sleep state misperception. It happens when your brain's perception of sleep doesn't match what actually went down. So you might be snoozing like a hibernating squirrel, but your brain reports back, nope, still awake, total insomnia, send help. This is especially common in people with anxiety or insomnia. Their minds are so revved up that even when their bodies get rest, their internal narrator insists they were awake the whole time. It's like your brain's customer service department marked your sleep request as in progress instead of fulfilled. And on the flip side, sometimes you barely sleep and wake up feeling fresh like a hotel towel. Your brain, clearly operating on vibes, decides to log that as high-quality rest. So yeah, even sleep can be fake news curated by the unreliable narrator that lives inside your head. Number eight, you fake falling, you're drifting off, finally relaxing, and just as you're about to fall asleep, bam, you jerk awake because you were falling. Off a cliff, off a curb, off the top bunk of a metaphysical nightmare. This is called a hypnic jerk, and it's basically your brain's way of slapping itself awake for no logical reason. It's a brief muscle spasm that often comes with a falling sensation or visual jolt. It's like your body thinks, hey, you're too relaxed, better simulate a death plummet just to be sure. One theory says this comes from an evolutionary leftover. Our primate ancestors slept in trees and if their muscles relax too much, they might fall. The hypnic jerk was a built-in, not today, gravity feature. Today, it mostly just startles you, makes you embarrass yourself in front of your sleeping partner, and then forces you to explain that yes, you're fine, you just dream fell off a pizza. So the next time you twitch awake mid-fall from an imaginary skyscraper, just know, your brain's caveman instincts are alive and well. Number 9, you see things that aren't there, let's talk about the spooky little bonus round your brain sometimes plays during sleep, hypnagogic hallucinations. Sounds fancy, right? That's because your brain makes up creepy visuals when you're half asleep, didn't look great on a medical textbook cover. These hallucinations happen right as you're falling asleep or waking up, and they can get wild. We're talking spiders on the ceiling, shadow people in the corner, floating faces, flashing lights, you know, just casual nightmare fuel. And no, you're not going insane. Your brain is just in that awkward limbo between dreamland and reality. 
Your sensory systems are still half on, your logical thinking is still half off, and your imagination is basically sprinting through a haunted house with a GoPro. It's like REM sleep starts bleeding into wakefulness and the dream engine accidentally spills some content into your real world feed. Your eyes see your room, but your brain overlays it with a free trial of psychological horror. So next time you jolt awake and swear you saw someone standing at the foot of your bed, just give your brain a slow clap, because nothing says trustworthy organ like a casual dose of ghost simulator at 2 a.m. Number 10, you sleep through chaos, your neighbor sets off fireworks at midnight, a car alarm blares right outside your window, your cat has knocked over a small shelf, you. You sleep through it like a sedated koala in a sensory deprivation tank. How is this possible? Well, your brain has a built-in noise filter during certain sleep stages, especially deep sleep. It's kind of like do not disturb mode, but for your entire nervous system. This filter, managed by your thalamus, helps you stay unconscious unless the sound is deemed important like your baby crying or a door opening, or someone whispering your name in a tone that says, I just Googled your search history. But sometimes this filter is a little too aggressive. People have slept through earthquakes, storms, and dogs barking directly into their faces. Because your brain's sound triage system decided, fireworks, meh, let them dream. On the flip side, the moment your phone buzzes with a Slack message, your eyes snap open like you've been called to battle. It's not about volume, it's about context, which again, your brain decides for you, sometimes correctly, sometimes while dreaming about soup. So yes, your brain lies to you by pretending that chaos doesn't exist, until it does. And then suddenly, everything's an emergency. Number 11, you sleepwalk like a zombie extra, you wake up and your fridge is open. There's a trail of crackers leading to your laundry room, and your partner swears you had a five minute conversation about joining a cult in your sleep. This is parasomnia, specifically sleepwalking, where your body gets up and does stuff while your brain is still clocked out. The part of your brain responsible for movement, your motor cortex. It's like, sure, we're awake now, but the part that handles judgment and awareness, still drooling on a pillow. This bizarre disconnect creates the perfect conditions for doing semi-normal things, walking, eating, mumbling about spreadsheets without actually waking up. Why does it happen? No one's 100% sure, but it's most common when your sleep cycles are disrupted, like if you're super stressed, sick, or genetically predisposed to be a nighttime weirdo. And the best part, you'll remember none of it. So the next morning when you find the peanut butter in your shoe, you'll either think you're losing it, or your kitchen ghost is snacky and bold. Basically, sleepwalking is your brain pulling a prank on itself with your dignity as collateral. Number 12, you fake being asleep. Yes, you read that right. Sometimes your brain pretends to be asleep while you're still awake. This charming trick is called microsleep, and it happens when your brain takes a tiny nap behind your back, usually for 1 to 15 seconds, without you even realizing it. You could be driving, reading, or in a super boring Zoom meeting. Suddenly, you blink and realize you missed the last sentence, the last few seconds, maybe even the last paragraph of your life. This is your brain's desperate cry for rest. It's like your consciousness shuts the door, turns the lights off, and goes, I'll be back in five, don't touch anything. Microsleeps are especially sneaky because your eyes might still be open and you might still look awake. But inside, your brain is rolling around on a mattress made of bad decisions. Why is this terrifying? Because you're not in control. And worse, this happens before full-blown sleep deprivation. Your brain is lying to you by pretending you're just tired, when in fact you're partially unconscious and still operating machinery. So the next time you zone out for a few seconds, just know that wasn't zoning out. That was your brain whispering, you're welcome, I kept us both alive. Number 13, you believe dreams are real, for a minute ever wake up from a dream and genuinely believe it happened. Like you're irrationally mad at your best friend for stealing your cat in a dream, or you feel deep emotional devastation because your imaginary bakery just burned down. Yeah, that's your brain lying directly to your face with conviction. This post-dream confusion is because of how memory and emotion get tangled during REM sleep. Your limbic system, the part responsible for emotional processing, is partying hard during dreams. Meanwhile, the prefrontal cortex, that voice of logic and reason, is off-duty, probably drinking lukewarm chamomile tea in a corner. So when you wake up, your emotional brain has fully bought into the dream's narrative. You felt that betrayal, you really kissed that celebrity, you definitely remember driving a hovercraft made of cheese through New York, and for a solid 30 seconds it all feels legit. 
Even though your waking brain quickly goes, okay, that didn't actually happen, the emotional echo can last hours or all day, you'll feel weirdly guilty or sad or victorious, all because your brain did a late night improv session and forgot to file it under fiction. Basically, your brain gaslights itself. And you get to live with the weird emotional aftermath of your midnight soap opera. Number 14, you think you slept well just because you dreamed you wake up groggy, barely functional, but you remember a dream, so your brain tells you, yeah, that was solid rest. Plot twist, it wasn't. Dream recall has tricked many people into thinking they slept deeply, but that's not how sleep quality works. In fact, you're more likely to remember a dream when you wake up during REM sleep. Which means your sleep was probably fragmented, not blissfully continuous. But your brain is all about narrative. It grabs onto the one vivid memory it has, your dream about teaching penguins to dance, and says, See, we were productive. Meanwhile, your body's dragging itself to the coffee maker like it just got hit by a metaphorical truck made of poor decisions. This sleep satisfaction illusion is your brain creating a false correlation. I remember something equals I must have slept well. Wrong, that's like saying, I remember eating cake at 2am equals I had a balanced diet. So if you've ever felt exhausted but dream fulfilled, that's just your brain passing off a weird short film as actual recovery. Thanks for the delusion, subconscious. Number 15, you sleep in shifts without realizing you think you sleep through the night like a majestic, unconscious dolphin. But actually, your brain wakes up multiple times, you just don't remember it. This is called brief arousals and it's your body's way of checking in with the world. Is it still safe? Are we still breathing? Did the room temperature change? Did the cat move suspiciously? All good, okay, back to sleep. These micro-awakenings happen during sleep cycle transitions and while most last less than 30 seconds, they can happen as often as 10 to 20 times a night. But unless you're jolted awake or have sleep issues, you won't notice. Your brain erases the tape. So yes, your brain is literally lying to you by giving you the illusion of continuous sleep. You're basically running a nightly operating system with invisible background updates, rebooting silently between REM and non-REM like a very tired MacBook. The upside, it's normal. The downside, you've never actually slept through the night in the way you think you have. But hey, ignorance is blissfully unconscious. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.